Okay, I got a 2007 Honda Accord here, right? 2003, I'm sorry, 2000, yeah, three to 2007 is the same thing. Honda Accord, Honda Civic, um, Acros, Toyotas, similar procedure, right? So, I had a, somebody asked me to make a video on this, so this video is gonna be live. This car has a bad AC. It's really hot, that's why I got short sleeves, I got no sleeves. It's really hot, people are crying, they're coming about AC. I have my machine set up right there, I'm gonna charge this because he told me he has no Freon in the system. But, when I come across here, I know this car has a Freon because I did a small little test. So, I'm gonna do a test. One, I'm gonna show you how to check the Freon. And also, there's gonna be one little sign. If you have a Honda or Civic, you're gonna look for this sign. The fan's running, that means uh, there's pressure in there, plus, there's uh, activity that everything is working. Probably something is wrong in the AC compressor side. Maybe the AC compressor is bad. Or you have no power to the AC compressor, fuse, relay, it could be anything, all right? But anyways, small little video. I'm gonna use a voltmeter and a test light, all right? And I'm gonna show you the problem. I did check this car earlier, so I decided to make a good video out of it. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna take this camera. Once I take this camera, everything is gonna be live. Meaning there's going to be no cuts after that, but the camera might be all over the place. Meaning I might put the camera down at one point because I, I can't do everything with one hand because I got to take the camera in there to show you guys a little bit of things, all right? So I'm about to take this camera after that. It's just going to be one continue video, all right? All right, here it goes. Nothing, all right? So I already prepared my uh, voltmeter here and I'm going to put it right top of this engine. Hopefully it doesn't shake and fall down. And I do have a test light here. All right, I'm gonna keep that one right there, it's okay. And I do have a little plier here, right? This is, again, 2007 Honda Accord, 2006 or seven, I'm not sure, I'll just make sure right now. It's uh, 2007, definitely, all right? Four cylinder, 2.4 liter. Anyways, this is the fuse box we're gonna look into, all right? And down here, we have a connector here that goes straight to the AC compressor, right? right there every single ac compressor has one wire that controls it right so this one has only one wire going to it if you have a honda civic you're going to see three wires and the wires come all the way over here there's a small little connector here the wire that's red that's going to be the same wire the red has to have a power when your ac is running all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go inside this car and i'm going to start the engine and put the ac on all right very simple so we're inside the car, AC is already running, full blast, all right, not full blast, but it's so cold, AC, all right, so, let's see, let me grab one of this stick, all right, let me grab this, maybe, maybe I can, uh, point, you see that AC compressor right there? It does not turn, all right? That little outside pulley does not turn itself, all right? That's a sign that your AC compressor is not engaging, all right? But one thing is for sure that your fans are running, all right? Both of your fans are running. Another thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open this, all right? I'm gonna reverse it a little bit. We're gonna turn the car off, all right? So the car goes off. All right, I turned the car off for a minute because I am gonna check something. Let's take this little guy. Oh guys, do subscribe to my other channel. It's called RC USA 201. I do a lot of bashing here. I got a lot of trucks over here. I got the big bad boy right there. Got the Mojave over here. So I got crazy stuff, all right? So do subscribe to my other channel. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it if you do. But anyways. This fat line, Honda Civic, every single car has a fat line and a thin line, all right? So the skinny line is high pressure. High, uh, this line here is uh, low pressure. So what you do is you take off that cap. Before you do anything, you just push on this valve. You see that? You see that? You get high, you get the liquid type of pressure in there. It shoots air, but it's actually a lot. It turns into liquid when it touches your finger like that. So that's a sign that you have Freon pressure. It might not be full amount, it might not be 100%, it might be air pressure, but even air pressure will let the AC compressor engage, right? Going back. 
All right, car is back on. The AC does not work. This line is not cold. If your AC compressor work, this line should be cold. If it, it is working and this line is not cold, that means you might not have uh, enough Freon in there, all right? So, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open this fuse box. If you have a test light, you're gonna put it on the ground here. All right, to check fuses, you need to have this grounded, all right? You see that? This is just a test. Right here is a fuse for AC compressor, all right? This one right here is a relay, all right? But one thing we're gonna do is, be careful with the belt. You see this one line right here? We're gonna disconnect this connector right here. Alright, so I'm gonna put my camera down. Like I said, I might not be able to do it with one hand. So I'm gonna disconnect this. I gotta disconnect it right there. All right, you see that? It's disconnected, it's grounded over there. Be careful with the fans. All right, so this is just a test, all right? You see that? No power. No power, all right? So this AC compressor has no power, but the fans are running. That's a sign that your AC switch, Freon, everything is working. Problem is, maybe your relay is bad or fuse is bad, all right? So in this case, if you like, you can take this and tap it. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't work, all right? Put your connector in, you will hear the AC. You see that? It started to work just by tapping it, all right? So that was a relay. I tapped this relay and magically it started to work, all right? Also, what you're gonna do is, if you don't have a test light, like my friend here asked me to make a video, you can take a voltmeter, make sure you put it on DC, all right? You're gonna do the same thing, all right? Put this on negative. You take the positive lead. And you should have voltage. You see that? Voltage, all right? So right now, the AC kicked in just because I tapped the relay, all right? So, one thing you can do is, you could take this relay, pull it, and pull this relay, you could swap them, all right? But make sure you have the car off. So, in my case, I have a new relay, all right? So, what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna shut the car off, all right? So, this fuse is good, all right? If you, if you wanna look, find out what kind of fuse and relay it is, if you see that little snow frosting right there in the center of the screen right now, that's the relay, right? And the fuse is the mag LC magnet clutch right there, all right? But anyways, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna take this, you're gonna pull out this relay right here, very simple. I have a new relay somewhere over here sitting, right here, all right? The part number, all right? This thing is only like 11, $12, all right? But, you see this relay? It has to have the same amount of legs, all right? It has to look the same, all right? You see that? It's the same thing, all right? This also can be uh, considered a fog light relay, all right? But, you see the difference in this relay? You got this little notch, all right? You cannot put this relay the wrong way. Let me try to put this the wrong way, all right? Let me try to put it this way. It will not go in, all right? No way possible. But this way, it's gonna go right in, all right? Let's close this fuse box back up. Let's remove all of our leads. We don't need none of this stuff, all right? But don't forget to connect your connector back for the AC compressor, which fell all the way down there. Just be careful with the belt and everything. You do not want it get hurt, injured, it will take your hand off, all right? Don't wear any like jewelry or anything, all right? So that connector is back in its spot. So let's go back in the car. The AC is still running, so all we need to do is crank the car up. You hear that? 
AC compressor in the case. Get out, pulley. Auto pulley is turning. This line will get cold. All right. So that's how you're gonna diagnose your AC system. I'm sorry. Very simple. I'll take you five minutes. Just check the fuse and relay to begin with. Don't even bother doing all this stuff I did. Just go ahead, tap that relay. Sometimes tapping doesn't even work. Sometimes you need to swap it or change it, all right? Thank you and bye-bye.